to my new video as you can see on the screen in the poll the cold rush law has actually won so i shall be taking this in this particular video okay so first of all let me tell you that this video mein i will tell you two important tricks only two tricks or two ways agar tum usko achhi tarah samajh lo if you understand that very well then entire part will be solved this is a very important law as all of you know class 12th boards je mains je advanced neat bit chart koi bhi exam dekh lo hamesha question aata hi hai okay so i will be telling you two tricks so just know that before that kindly understand the theory because sometimes the questions can be directly asked from the theory also okay so the theory here is that at infinite dilution please focus infinite dilution when the dissociation of an electrolyte is 100% this concept comes from ionic equilibrium that even the weak electrolyte weak electrolyte also starts behaving as a strong electrolyte when we have 100% when we have infinite dilution basically okay so even a weak electrolyte can behave as a strong electrolyte at infinite dilution then and these particular cases we can calculate the molar conductivity of an electrolyte with respect to their ions okay so individually we can dissociate an electrolyte we can find out the ions and then we can calculate the molar conductivity or the equivalent conductivity respectively from the ions now understand some basic terms lambda m infinity is the molar conductance at infinite dilution similarly lambda e infinity is the equivalent conductance at infinite dilution now let me tell you the important points which i was talking just understand these two points and sare questions 100% ho jayenge is part mein se let me take the help of an example any general molecule a3b2 has been given to you okay like kuch bhi diya ho i am taking a3b2 as an example if you are calculating the lambda m infinity for it we can calculate with respect to their ions so dissociated on dissociating mujhe kya kya mil jayega 3a plus or 2b minus or whatever the plus minus can be interchanged okay not a big deal so from here this can be written as 3 into lambda m infinity of the a plus plus 2 of lambda m infinity of b minus okay basically 3 into an ions we are adding because with respect to their ions so that is why we dissociate into the ions and with respect to that i am calculating for the molecule which is initially given to you okay now if i had taken the lambda e infinity that is equivalent conductance leta main in that case please remember these 3 and 2 wouldn't matter and only we would get lambda m infinity of a plus plus 2 ni aega ab and lambda sorry lambda e here lambda e here also infinity of b minus so basically the point to be remembered from here is that when you are calculating the lambda m infinity then you need to take the coefficients also but when you are calculating the lambda e infinity you don't need to take any coefficients here and directly the ions should be added like let us take any general compounds example and then move on to the very important question which i have taken in this video let me say we have al2 so4 whole thrice so isko mai break down karu so it can be broken down as 2 al plus 3 plus 3 so4 minus 2 so first of all lambda m infinity likho for this lambda m infinity would be equal to 2 into lambda m infinity of al plus 3 plus 3 into lambda m infinity of so4 minus 2 okay but similarly if i had been writing the lambda e infinity for this particular case then 2 and 3 wouldn't come into consideration and the answer would have been lambda e infinity of al plus 3 plus lambda e infinity of so4 minus 2 okay so i hope that ye point tumhe clear ho chuka hai now let's discuss some questions on it here so question is very important here it is advanced level question okay but you need to understand it very well we have been given to calculate the lambda m infinity for nh4oh from the given data of the molar conductivities for the individual parts so lambda m infinity for baoh whole twice has been given to you this thing lambda infinity for bacl2 ye diye and nh4cl ke liye ye diye a very important tip to all of you whenever the lambda infinities for individuals have been given to you assume them to be some a some b some c okay instead of taking the values assume them to be a b and c and in the final part substitute the values okay that would be much easier 
and will save you very much uh, will save you a lot of time in order for the mathematical calculations so first of all jo tumhe data diye break down so we have lambda m infinity of b a o h whole twice that can be written as lambda m infinity basically of b a plus 2 and 2 into lambda m for the o h minus okay so this thing mathematically can be written as let me say some a a is equal to this particular thing let me say lambda m for b a plus 2 plus 2 into lambda m for o h minus let me say this is some equation number 1 okay let me write for the equation 2 now so 2 ke liye mere paas lambda m infinity kya hai b so b is equal to lambda m for b a plus 2 plus 2 into lambda m for c l minus so this will be the equation number 2 for this case the equation number 3 from here that is c would be equal to lambda m for nh4 plus plus lambda m for cl minus okay so abc likh liya maine the three equations have been written now the question has been asked in order to calculate the lambda m infinity for nh4 oh so jo tumhe question diya write that down so let me say that lambda m infinity for nh4 oh will be equal to what it will be the summation for the lambda m infinity of nh4 plus and the lambda m infinity of oh minus so this is the question which has been asked to you you need to derive this equation from the three equations which have been given to you in the question okay now try to think how we can actually do that now think see cl minus isn't appearing anywhere in this equation so it definitely means that equation 2 has to be used in order for the subtraction part now how to think that see cl minus ek hai yahan pe so what i do is that i divide this equation by a factor of 2 so b by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 into this thing plus this 2 will be erased from here okay now you can see we have 1 by this thing isn't also there ba plus 2 bhi nahi hai yahan pe so what i'm doing is that equation number 1 ko bhi 2 se divide kar diya okay and similarly this will be equal to 1 here so what i have done i have multiplied equation number 1 uh, by a factor of 1 by 2 and equation number 2 is multiplied by a factor of 1 by 2 now what i do is that i am adding or oh, what i'll do i'll add this and this and subtract this okay so what i am doing is that the operation which i have done is 1 by 2 into 1 plus equation number 3 minus 1 by 2 into 2 okay very simple Now you can do mathematically here in the given equation itself. One by two into one, कर दिया है. Three equation वैसी की वैसी ऐड करने का है. And this equation is multiplied by a minus one, and then it is subtract, and then it is added to all the equations. So we are doing a minus sign. So minus is multiplied on all the sides. So minus को सब पे multiply कर दिया. Now add all of these. You can see from here that this thing and this thing would get cancelled out. Minus one by two plus one by two. This thing would also get cancelled out. So you can see from here, मेरे पास value क्या आ रही है? A by two, A by two minus B by two plus C is equal to क्या बच रहा है मेरे पास? Lambda m for OH minus यहाँ से क्या बच रहा है? Lambda m for NH4 plus. This is the thing which is actually required. ये तो पूछा है हमसे. This is the only thing which has been asked. So mathematically it will be equal to A by two minus B by two plus C. A by 2 will be equal to 457.6, 457.6 upon 2 minus B by 2, so 240.6 upon 2. Wait for the homework question also because I'm going to give that also plus 129.8. So this final value comes out to be equal to 238.3 ohm inverse centimeter square mole inverse. Okay, so I hope that this question is very well understood by you. the basic logic which you need to think in this type of questions is that whatever this is the hardest level question which can actually come from it okay this is advanced level question means with this definitely easier hi aayega okay let me give you a question for homework so that you people are able to better understand it so this is the homework question we have been given that the lambda m infinity for ch3 c double bond of na is equal to 91.6 ohm inverse centimeter square mole inverse similarly lambda m infinity for hcl has been given to you and lambda m infinity for nacl has been given so three data has have been given to you you need to find out the lambda m infinity for the acidic acid from the given data okay so please let me know in the comment section tumhara answer kya aata hai i hope that this video has helped you by discussing the entire theory and a very important question for this law 
Okay, so if there are any doubts, please ask me. Also mention the answer for it. So thank you and all the best.